Back in January, we asked the Marion County Prosecutor's Office for statistics on how often they settle major felony cases out of the courtroom. Six months later, we got the information. Major felony cases are the most serious of crimes in our community, like murder, robbery, burglary, sex offenses, and some drug crimes. Numbers obtained by Call 6 Investigates show of the 3,600 major felony cases resolved in 2016, 75% were by plea agreement. Richmond Hill suspects Gary Thompson and Glenn Holtz both reached plea agreements. They're now serving prison time for their role in the deadly explosion. Marion County Prosecutor Terry Curry knows what many people think when they hear the word plea. Oh, you know, that guy got a break because he got a, a, a plea bargain. But Curry says just because someone reaches a plea does not necessarily mean they're getting a lighter sentence or a lesser charge. The majority of these cases uh, involved a guilty plea to the lead charge. Uh, I would be shocked if that were not the case. Of the 3,600 cases in Marion County resolved in 2016, 15% were dismissed and 10% went to trial, either before a judge or jury. The prosecutor's office looks at a slew of factors, including whether witnesses and victims could be traumatized by a trial and how likely they can get an entire jury to convict. Taking cases to trial, we're going to lose some. It's just a uh, fact of life. We're actually proud of our, our record in trials. Curry says another benefit to plea agreements, the suspect admitting to the crime. That is a significant consideration. Someone's going to accept responsibility and be held accountable. Curry points out the county's six felony courts could not handle all cases going to trial. Didn't we have three murders going in a week? The public wants justice to be served, but prosecutors say justice doesn't have to happen in the courtroom. Prosecutor Terry Curry says they've greatly improved their technology over the past six months so they can run reports like this one much more efficiently. Reporting from downtown, Kara Kenny, RTV6.